Hello. Um, so today we'll uh, record a short video on how to debug performance in specs. In Q3, uh, the, there is an OKR to improve the test efficiency. And you can see here we run about 9 million database queries uh, every single pipeline. So there is, we've taken a look out to try and improve that. So one of the issues that we find if we um, go to the aspect profiling project is that uh, this spec here, the notification service spec, is one of the slower specs and it was taking about 640 seconds. So um, I want to kind of talk quickly about how I uh, looked into it and uh, what are the tools that you can use to debug this. So um, firstly, the quickest way to debug this is uh, using TestProf. And there are a few tools that you can use. Uh, the most obvious one is Factory Profile. So, and you can enable it quite easily by enabling uh, fprof equals one and running a spec. And that gives you a lot of information, uh, namely the number of uh, factory calls that you call. So for example, in this spec, we call the user factory about 4,000 times, uh, which is quite a lot. So that's one way that we managed to shrink it down. So that, I think that's, that's probably the most useful one. The, and you can resolve this quite simply by using, um, again, another test prof thing, which is the let it be helper, where you can uh, create uh, objects uh, on the top level and reuse them for, for the whole file or for the whole context. Now, um, for things that are not as obvious, uh, flame graphs are a very useful thing as well. And that's mainly what I want to talk about. So, Flame graphs um, can also be enabled uh, quite easily using the stack prof um, using the stack prof integration that TestProf has provided. So here's an example of a flame graph. So we can see here for this quite slow spec that um, this particular method here is taking about 13% of the time, uh, which is quite a lot and you can see what what it was trying what it's trying to do as well because that's the, that's basically the, the stack or the flame uh, it looks like a frame if you um, have the graphs going up that's why they're calling a flame graph by the way so to enable flame graphs for specs what you can do is you can use this environment variable test that properly for one and I find, and then that will enable the frame graph with running the specs. And this and extra variable test set for profit format equals JSON is useful uh, to use to output a JSON instead of a normal dump because the standard way of um, producing flame graphs, which is stack for flame graph, um, the dump file. Um, Unfortunately, uh, it takes a while. Uh, the, I mean, the bigger the file is, the slower it gets. So this file, for example, that I just, that I just generated uh, is about half, half a gig and it's, it will take maybe half an hour to generate it or, or even longer. So whereas if you've got a stack, if you've got a JSON file, uh, what you can do is you can just use a website called speedscope.app, which is very nice. Oh, which is an um, open source flame graph generator that accepts our JSON. So we can just browse the thing and put the JSON. Now, this will take a while as well, but uh, not as slow. Hmm. Um, 
well, okay, unfortunately, even, even speeds go, can't handle um, a one gigabyte JSON file. So what we need to do is reduce the size of the file. And we can do this by reducing the number of intervals that it takes. So how SecProf works is that at every interval, uh, it takes a slice of the application of all the call sec, and then it waits for the next interval. By default, the interval is set to one second. Now, one second interval is producing far too much data. So what we need to do is to increase that interval to produce less data. So let's do that by changing that to say maybe five seconds and then run. So now the new stack prof has completed with a new interval of five seconds. And if we check the uh, file size, you can see that it's much more than 200 megabytes. So hopefully that should be enough. It should be loadable by speed scope. Let's now upload the JSON. Right, and uh, SpeedScope has successfully loaded the flame graph. Um, there's a few, there's two modes here. One is the time order, and uh, the left heavy is brings out the most interesting events. So click that. Um, yeah, you can see the most and um, longest events gets put to the left. Um, now this is this has been this is after my my optimization. So, um, but the spec still takes about six minutes to run. So, I want to kind of look at what's what's left. Um, so on a high level, there's there's some garbage collection and there's there's uh, kind of some aspects set up. Uh, the idea with stack prof is that you want to kind of um, look at the base of each tips. So instead of instead of the very tip of these things, you're gonna kind of look at the tips to see whether there are any kind of common bases that that we can optimize for. So a lot a lot of a lot a lot of this seems to be aspect specific things where we're running a whole example or running a whole uh, suite of things. Um. So not much. Um, so there's build team here, and if you click on build team, you can see that the build team's been called in a few places as well. Um, previously, uh, this spec was calling build team multiple times, and that's why it was blown out to 12 minutes. Um, but now we call build team once, and basically you reuse it most of the time. So yeah, it's pretty small now. And you can see that the total instances is only it's still one minute. So one minute out of six uh, point five minutes of runtime is still significant. So that's probably a, uh, a target for optimization potential. And uh, another, another place where you can look at is this kind of sandwich place where it, you can you can see all the calls ordered by total time and self time. So if you look at the uh, total time, it's gonna be um, not that interesting potentially because it total includes uh, all the uh, meta calls that subsequent uh, calls make as well. So if you order by self, it's probably uh, more interesting. Uh, we can see that um, there's 8% of a block calling a uh, class attribute, 6% uh, garbage collection, 5% uh, executing a SQL query, so that will be interesting. Uh, and then a few other things as well. Okay, so this is basically uh, 
how to generate stack prof, and also using a speed scope to view flame graphs to see where we can optimize uh, specs.